Hi. Hi. This week we stayed in and watched Can't Hardly Wait. Oh my god, you we guys. could hardly wait. Oh, um, this is like mine and Julie's movie. Like mm-hmm. this, like the poster is the poster for our friendship. Yes, this is a movie we watch together yes. often. Often, um, It's just kind of how like we come back and, and remember how yeah. much we like each other. We just sit and watch this movie. If, if there's any rocky anything, we're just like, let's mm-hmm. just watch Can't let's Hardly just, Wait. Let's just get back to us. The reset button. Yeah. And it works. It does. See, we're here. And why do we love it? Because it's, it's awesome. A, it's a perfect 90s movie. Yeah. Um, everybody in the world from the 1990s is in this movie. Unbelievable. Yeah. On, even like the extras, you're like, oh my gosh, that's a girl from American Horror Story. Like, oh my and, gosh, yeah. she was in Popular. She hosts that show. Everybody, somebody. It, the casting director for this movie was ahead of their time. Definitely. Because they picked up on every single person that was going to be someone. Yeah. From Jason Siegel. Yeah. Doing some weird stuff with a watermelon that kind of freaks me out. <laughs> to, yeah, again, even extras that are big. Yeah, it's big cr- it's now. awesome. I it's loved it. Wonderful. It was like going through a yearbook of your favorite shows. Mm-hmm. And that's it's the other incredible. thing about this movie that's great. It is the perfect yearbook kind of version yeah. of every single different type of person you would run into in high in school. In high school, it's typecast you know? so perfectly. Like, it's, oh god, no, no, please <laughs> reset. Uh, the like we watch can't hardly wait. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Let's get back to us. Uh, Breakfast Club does it in just you know with a few people, but right. they touch on even that like weird person that you knew in yeah. high school, like that one little niche person, or even like that really weird girl who just like sits down. And is like, did we have chemistry together? And they're like, see, I told you she went to our school. Like just like that one. Oh, they just do such a good job, you guys. No well, words. Well done. I also I, love. Well, <laughs> sorry. I also love the way uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt is pursued in this movie. I think a guy pursuing a girl. There's nothing better than that. It's I the love, Lloyd Dobler. Oh, I just I People love are... watching it, and I love the idea of it happening. Like mm-hmm. it's just so lovely. Though I do think this is one of the movies that threw me off because it made me think that uh, boys and girls could just be friends because mm. of the friendship with the main characters in this movie, which is not it's completely not, accurate. Not always the case. No, there's that, usually some ulterior motive. That you can date for a week and then be completely fine and best friends after. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's really truthful. No, it, I don't think it is. But 100%. that's okay. I yeah. do enjoy, I felt like this was Jennifer Love Hewitt's uh, Big Boobs debut. Big like, Boobs, I just yes. I call her Boobs McGee in this because she just like, Hello, world. Here they are. Finally, yeah. you've been wondering, and you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, they're out. Here's a tank top. Good day. You do the rest. Yeah. The other thing that we're both wondering, maybe you guys mm-hmm. can tweet us and let Please. us know, is Jennifer Love Hewitt in the opening sequence of this movie? Like when they keep her? like hiding her yeah. face? I kind of think it is. Julie does I'm not. never sure. I wonder if she wasn't available to shoot that day because they don't show her at all. Yeah. And then, and I don't know, it's not a big reveal when she comes in at the party, so right. it's not as though they were saving it, but I can't imagine that when he's talking about her, she wouldn't have stepped out of the car and it would have been her. Right, right, right. So was there a schedule? So if you guys conflict? know. At yeah. and scene reviews, let us know. Or was it just clever cinematography? Yes. I don't know. I hope it's both. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing in this movie for me is that Mike Dexter, mm-hmm. that character, who's Peter Fascianelli, I don't even know. Let's just call him Papa Cullen from Twilight. Right. Because that's really who he is. That's, that's how name. anyone knows him. But this is the first time I ever saw him, and I thought, what a douche. So and I douche. think that's how he is in real life. And now that he's dumped Jenny Garth and was like, I'm living on Twilight fame, I hope that this movie like is the, exactly what happens in his life. I hope he goes back crawling on his hands and knees to Jenny Garth, and then, Jenny's like, and then mm-hmm. she's like, I'm out, and then people no. call him names in front of everybody, and he's embarrassed, and his life turns out poorly. But everybody is the tabloids. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and us. And us, of course. Well, it's definitely going to be here at the studios that's going to happen. Right. This is where most things go down, you guys. Um, who would you, in high school, who yeah. did you identify the most with in this movie? Kenny G. Oh, <laughs> in a, special in a K? special K, yeah, in a special K kind of way. I, um, I don't, I was not like sex crazed or like gangster or anything like that, but like I just, I think I thought I was a lot cooler than I was and I could feel people kind of being like, hey Tracy, what's on your head? And like, slow down. I just, you get it. Mm-hmm. Oh you yeah. You get where I'm going with this. What about you? Um, I, I wasn't necessarily nerdy nerdy mm. but I, I mean I pretty much went across the board in from playing sports to all of that stuff but the two nerdy guys are yeah. kind of how my best friend and I would act we would silo ourselves at parties <laughs> and just hang out with ourselves and amuse each other kind of like we do like right now <laughs> um, and so even though we would probably be in the party we would still probably be doing some silly stuff that yeah. siloed us yeah, so yeah. although I probably would just be the girl that stepped on the letter and brought it into the party <laughs> like, that's more likely 
<laughs> what I would do. Oh, I would have been friends with you. I would have let you in my cool circle. Oh, I had friends. Don't you worry. Oh. I just uh, <laughs> didn't want to hang out with them. No, no I, I totally understand. I think, what, what about in real life now? Who would you be? Uh, still the girl that brings in the letter <laughs> with gum on her shoe. Okay. Because that seems to be what I do. I facilitate. <laughs> You're welcome, party. Mm-hmm. I think I've grown up to be Denise. Ah, uh, yeah. The one who's just like, let's go. Mm-hmm. Why are we still here? I, let, can we just get out? Of, I want to leave. That's usually what I say after I get somewhere. That scene and that party when she's sitting by herself. Yeah. Oh, I feel for her. Yeah. Sometimes I feel that way. Yeah, like, <laughs> let's just get out. Let's just, oh, it's where the is worst. my ride home? It's the worst being somewhere when you're stuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate it so much. Not fun. Hey, Ryan, mm. who were you in high school? Who was I? Yeah. Oh, Which character? Movie, in the movie? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably like the, uh, the main dude who was like in love with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, Ethan Embry? Yeah. I was like Ethan Embry. Yeah. So, like I played sports and whatnot. But mm-hmm. I was definitely in love with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. Still? That was a crime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just watched J. Love Hewitt. did last summer again. Oh, wow. oh, I thought maybe the client list. Oh, was no. a good one. No, she's too old. But... What? Yeah, what? She's, she's a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she does actually look really good. Her boobs haven't still. aged a day. Mm-mm. Oh, well, I'm sure they haven't. Yeah, they it's might. Silicone. Hey, that's still up for debate. <laughs> did you like this movie? Um, yeah, this movie was really good. Oh, you yeah. do love the 90s. Uh, wow. The 90s was my shit. Yeah. yeah. Like wow. We're learning so much about everyone. This is so exciting, right? More movies, like, with an oh, ensemble. Oh, he's still going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ensemble. You're going to talk about Scream next, aren't you? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. We'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. So, do you find this movie to be actually good or nostalgically good? I struggle with this because um, I don't know, which mm-hmm. I think means that it's just nostalgically good, but it, it's just a good movie, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. What about you? I agree. It's the no same. Clue. It's so tied in that I cannot decide if this, if I had never, if I had never seen this movie and I just watched it now, would it be good? So I that's what I do. And I, I do think if I was in high school and I sat down and I watched this movie, even though it's a little bit dated, I still think I would be able to identify with the characters in this movie and therefore... It, which makes it, it good. might make... It, yeah. Not great, but... But really Definitely good. like Sunday matinee morning on the couch. Yeah. Let's hang out. High school and friends. And remember things, which mm-hmm. makes it nostalgically good. So we don't know. We have no yeah. idea. Okay. No you clue. All right. All right. Okay. That's it. And, and scene. scene.